welcome back to more Mob Psycho season three. I'm here with my reaction to episode. Oh my gosh. Episode eight. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's usually called episode eight. And it doesn't have that whatsoever. So our crew are going on a little journey today. Reagan somehow managed to make it, even though he's like me. He's late for everything. Now, I'm so sorry. My cough is back. Not my cough, my sore throat. So far, it hasn't been leading to anything. But then people start talking about COVID in the world again. And I'm like, oh my God, no. I had COVID once and it was horrific. So stay away. Stay away, please. I haven't even gone anywhere. Like, what is this nonsense? I blame my dog. I think my dog is taking in the germs from the outside and bringing them to me. It's the only explanation. All right, let's delve on in to episode eight. The last reported sighting was seven years ago. According to that article, anyway. Thank you for the remarkably convenient deluge of information. <laughs> hey, Mob, were you asleep? What's wrong with you? What's wrong? It's just I'm pretty sure we passed the sign for the hiking trail a while ago. Thank you. Ugh. Are you serious? Why Reagan, you've got one job as the driver. He to get as far as he could in the car before proceeding on foot. Ugh. Oh, he didn't want to have to actually walk anywhere. I'm kind of the same, to be honest. I used to be into hiking, but not so much anymore. You making fun of me? I can't believe I actually canceled my New Year's Eve plans for this. What the hell did you just say? You were being all pouty, so we were trying to be nice. And this is the thanks we get. The hell's with that attitude? I am totally with you, buddy. That's exactly what I'm thinking right now. And aren't these your friends anyway? Wouldn't you want to spend New Year's with friends? No, Mom, no, don't you do it! Has <laughs> he crashed the car? Reagan, he clearly has zero experience driving. It's funny, I've been driving for, gosh, 12 years now. It's insane. And I sometimes feel like I don't even have that much experience. It always blows my mind when people, they just get their license and they're like, I'm an experienced driver. It's like, no, no, you're not. You passed your test. That's it. Welcome to the roads. Now, don't forget, if you want to watch this unedited with me, to head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk, or head on over to my Patreon. The link is in the description. Yeah, it does look like a dodgy path to be driving down, though. You can see why he hit a tree. Amateurs shouldn't walk the game trails of mountains they don't know. What am I supposed to do if something happens to one of you kids? Yeah, uh, I'll be back in a second. I gotta go take a leak. I don't feel like Reagan is also qualified to take care of this many kids. It's dangerous to go alone. Come on now. So that way? No, that way. That's it, they just got eaten by a bear, clearly. If you go to the toilet, you don't need to go that far away. Like, we all go to the toilet. They got nothing to hide. If we can get to a better vantage point, the route should reveal itself. Okay, then. In hindsight, I definitely should have made my marker stand out more. He may be an amateur, but he speaks so confidently. He is, no, do not listen to a word that Reagan says. You guys, if we keep going, I think we might actually make it. Huh? What? I thought we were heading back. Hmm. Look, we've already come this far, so let's follow through with it and summon that UFO. Huh? As if we could. This day's been one disaster after another. Why were you even in the club if you have zero belief in all of this? Everyone else has belief except you. What'd you say? Are you seriously trying to lay a guilt trip on me right now? Yes, yes, I am trying to lay it on you. Your behavior sucks. That turned out to be just another insult. Over and over, my earnest hopes keep getting trampled on. You have no idea what that feels like. Can someone just tell her? Can we just show her what we're able to do? I'm totally exhausted. I don't want to climb anymore. I'll head back alone. You all keep on going without me. Mob, you're gonna have to do something about this situation. Like, show her what you can do. All right, let's go. This 
is kind of nice though. It's kind of like the nice cool down after everything that has happened. Although there is a big part of me that's like, I hope that Dimple is up there somewhere. I think maybe climbing to the top of this mountain together is good enough. That's something we can look back on fondly. That is adorable. See, this is what I'm saying to you guys. There's always more memories that you can make in life. Even when a chapter comes to an end, like it's okay. You were really taking it that seriously? That's right, I did. Because it was obvious from the very beginning how important it was to these guys. So could you start having a little faith in everyone? Aww, that's really cute though. It's kind of sad that she honestly thinks that no one cares. Just because nothing has happened up to this point. We're doing this because we want to. One last hurrah for the telepathy club. Is all that true? Then... Then you could have shared it with me earlier, you know! Still hiding her feelings. Yeah. Everybody start lining up those rocks! Dufas, Dutu, Ayaba, Gayari. Hey, Reagan! Why are you not doing it? The author of that book on the occult was arrested two years ago for fraud. Uh. All that so-called research is completely and utterly baseless. The ritual we're attempting is a sham. It can't be. Wait, 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 wait. And we're still up here? You could have said something sooner. You should be proud of yourselves. I'm sure that in time, you're going to look back on what happened here as a treasured memory of your youth. It'll always remain an important experience for each and every one of you. That's what I said. It's okay that everything is coming to an end here. You take the memory and then you go and make more. What about the UFO sightings? Did those turn out to be fake too? No, apparently all those really happened. Interesting. Well then I think we should stick around a little bit longer. That would be an awesome way to finish their trip. Let's send out a message. I'm still willing to give my all, as long as you're with me. Oh, Mob. <laughs> so, shall we, President? Come on. Yeah, let's go for it. Thanks, you guys. Aw, uh, again, I feel like this could be the final episode. That's so adorable, you guys. Aww. That just kind of brings me back to my friend group when I was younger. And just all the things that we did together. Like, for me, don't get emotional, Susie, but it it's reminding me of, like, really good times. It's nice. For the time being, having fun with all of you is enough for me. Oh! What the hell? No, 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 no. We are not getting abducted by aliens. That is not what's gonna happen. Something's coming! Look out! Behind you! President, look! Back is quick! Uh, hey, do we have something I can catch him in? Like a net? No, we didn't exactly bring a net! What if you end up making them angry? Wait, is it the blonde guy? Slender limbs, giant developed heads, super smooth skin. <laughs> okay, it looks nothing like the blonde friend. They certainly do have an otherworldly quality about them. It's the eyes! Like, their eyes are so beautiful! Don't touch them, though! Wait, is that safe? I mean, think about the germs they might be carrying! Master? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, President! <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! What if she tries They're to take her away? To come aboard their spacecraft. They are? That's awesome! Let's go, everyone! Wait, 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 that's impulsive! Are you sure? Really sure? I'm going to. <sighs> Just go, Reagan. They're gonna need your help anyway. <laughs> I gotta say, what magic mushrooms are they eating down there? They're asleep, right? This isn't actually happening. You guys, these okay. aliens are super friendly. I was afraid they were going to be kind of scary for some reason. <laughs> Let's see. I, um, 
You... <laughs> Come on, you've waited all your life for this. I always take this thing with me wherever I go. <clears throat> yeah, great. But first, you should show him how it works. Oh, man. That's the thing. You meet aliens, and one of the first things you give them is a Nintendo Switch. I don't know. Like, what would I ask if I had the opportunity to meet aliens? And they came from space. I guess it'd be... Is there other planets like us? Like, have you met them? Have you actually gone down on these other planets? That came out wrong. But you know what I mean? Can I go and meet these other people? I don't know. Whoa, it's almost morning. We'd better be heading home soon. Yeah, you're right. I already told my parents I was spending the night at a friend's house so they wouldn't worry. And hey, we're friends now, so I guess it ended up being true. There is still a big part of me that's like, this didn't actually happen, but maybe it did. They're all staring at us. I wonder if the idea is that we're supposed to give them something in return. Huh. Oh, give the scarf. Case, why don't you take my scarf as something to remember me by? Is it just me though, or are all the aliens female? Maybe they don't have a gender at all, but are they all female? Ah! I was in a hurry this morning, so I still have my pajamas on. Ah, oh, the clothing in this show is so good. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting us. You just made her life, you know that? This is all she wanted. Hope we can see you again. <laughs> it looks so adorable with the uh, the PJs on. I'll never forget how much this day meant to me. I'm sure they feel the same. I know it. You know, we are only a couple of months into until New Year. Oh my god! He stayed behind? Um, maybe he was the gift? I'm sure he'll be coming back. Yeah, it's New Year soon. What will be your resolution? On the second day, the aliens threw me a welcome party, or at least something along those lines. I didn't God, look at alien food. Me, so I don't know, I feel like I would have to try it. Why not? I do have a vague recollection of something insane happening. What? I had no idea where I was, and my head was absolutely killing me. Oh my god, he's got kisses on him and everything! They'd never thought to use weapons against it, despite being such an advanced race, or indeed, perhaps because of it. Go! Oh! He's gonna step on it. He's like, look at this horrible thing. Just kill it. Wait, that made him like the king of the area, because he took care of it began to seem like life on this planet might not be so bad after all. Did you see that? They all had Reagan's PJs on? Having been pushed to the limit by his loneliness, Inukawa reached the aliens with his mind and informed them of his desire to return home to Earth at last. <laughs> hmm. Like, is he gonna come home as an alien though? Did you see his eyes? But by the time he got back to Earth, most of his memories had become too fuzzy and vague. He could no longer remember them. So then he didn't know what he was coming back to. Next time on Mob Psycho 103, Episode 9, Mob 1, Moving. Oh no, that's going to be really sad. Okay, that was quite a strange ending just then. So he stayed behind. I don't know if it was accidental. It, it seemed quite accidental. And then by the time he was able to come back to Earth, everything was too fuzzy that he was probably stuck on Earth thinking like, what do I do here? Like, probably wanted to go back to the alien world, I would say. Does that mean that he's just no longer a part of our friend group? He's just gone. And now in the next episode... Oh, I wonder. I wonder if now that everything is kind of calming down, we're getting closure on all of our main characters. I wonder. And it feels like the next one could be the most hurtful one for Mob yet. 
Yeah, oh bless him. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this episode here with me today, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.